Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel and today we will be looking at an older product by one that I was able to dissect just recently and that is Try Harder by Simon Lipkin. A very interesting uh, set of effects and a very interesting download if you're into mentalism that does have some really cool principles within it so I can't wait to dissect it more for you. So let's roll the intro and get straight into it. Perfect, so you decide to stick around, which means you want to learn more about Try Harder. So what is Try Harder? Try Harder is essentially very similar to Simon Lipkin's first download with the 1914 called Trifecta, in which he taught three different effects. Here he's gonna teach you more than three different effects, but this, the way this works is the same. You're gonna learn, you're gonna see a performance, explanation, performance explanation of various effects. Now, I will get, as always, unpack everything for you, but first I'll do you kind of a mock presentation. We won't do the full thing because there's no point in me doing it alone. But you'd have here some envelopes and you tell the spectator you'd also have four billets. You tell them to take any one of the billet and to write someone that, um, to write a celebrity that they feel is they feel maybe a connection with, but that's passed away or someone that they really liked or someone that, you know, inspired creativity in them that's passed away. So any celebrity that's passed away, and then you're going to ask them to take any one of these envelopes and place it inside. So then you're going to tell them also that on these, all of these envelopes, you've written alive or dead because the next thing that they're going to do is they're going to take three celebrities that are alive and they're going to essentially write them on the three billets remaining and place it inside of the envelopes. Then they're going to take all of the envelopes face down and they're going to be mixing them up just like this. So everything is going to get mixed so that you don't even know and they don't even know which is which. So then these will be going onto the table just as so. And you say, so now my job is going to be to try to get a feeling of these celebrities and see which one feels off which one of these feels off to me and hopefully I can, ident I can identify your celebrity. So then you're going to go through like this, like this. Okay. So then you're going to say, see this one, I feel some similarity with some others. This one I think is one of the alive. So they're going to go through, take it off and you're going to be right. Then you're going to be like, okay, wait, this one feels extremely similar to the one that we opened. So this one is alive as well. You give it to them, they open it and it's going to be alive. And then you're going to be like, okay, um, this one feels similar. They're going to open it up. It's going to be alive. And of course, because they are all alive, the last one that you got there is going to be the dead celebrity that you were able to pick up. And if you want, if you want to do it in an interesting way, you can also possibly uh, you know, reveal once it's here, you say, perfect. So, so clearly now we know this is dead and you do the classic, um, I'm picking up on this, 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 or you think of, let's say Michael Jackson and when they remove it, it's going to be Michael Jackson. So you can also get uh, the name inside that they've written if you want. Okay. So that is one of my favorite routines of this. I think it's very clever because of the principle used. So we're going to talk about all that, but first what is, uh, where do you buy this? How much does it cost? And what do you get? So you can buy Try Harder from the 1914 exclusively. It's going to set you back 30 pounds, which is around 40 USD, which is around 56 Canadian dollars. And what you're going to learn with your 56 Canadian dollars, you're going to get a download uh, video that is going to be around two hours long with some PDFs as well and some images for some of routines. And what you're going to learn is the first routine that you're going to learn is a key routine where you're going to have a lock and some keys and the specter is going to be able to discern which key goes into which lock. A classic, but that's, I, I didn't really like that routine because of some of the things that are going on. It wasn't my favorite. Then you're going to learn a brilliant book test where you're going to have three books or five books or 10 books, whatever you want. You're going to have someone pick one of the books. Then another person is going to write a random page number within the book. So of course, if the book is 200 pages, they're not going to write 580. So within the book, so they're going to write that number. Then they're going to uh, tell the person the number that they're thinking of. That person is going to go in the book and they're going to peek at what's going, what they're seeing in the book. And then you'll be able to reveal exactly what they were thinking of. Okay. So that's one of the really, really, really good routines. It does require some, 
some books that you're going to have to buy because they do have some particularities. They're not gimmick books, but they are particular books. So that one will probably require, but I did find on Amazon, there's some horror themes ones for me, which I'm probably going to buy eventually. There's like a set of three, which works perfectly uh, with this. So you're going to learn um, that as well. So you're going to be able to get everything that you need to know. It's very devious, the method. Then you're going to learn a thing called set the bar, which is a special marking system that is used in some of the effects in two of the effects specifically in the Eli alive or dead one that I did to you. You're going to learn how to do this set the bar marking system. It is an extremely deceptive and good marking system. I think I will be using this for a lot of envelope tricks in moving forward. It is incredibly deceptive in my opinion. And with that, you're going to learn the alive or dead test, but you're also going to learn an incredibly good, um, an incredibly good one here where you're going to be with a choose me. So you're going to have uh, different papers that are going to have choose me on them. Spectre is going to mix them up and you tell them, you know, you say pick two of them, blah, blah, blah. And then what the one that they're going to end picking is the one that says, uh, sorry, please try again next time. And all of the other ones say you win a hundred dollars, you win a hundred dollars. So it's a kind of a funny ish routine. You're going to learn that. And the last routine that you're going to learn with the set the bar marking system is one that is going to be involving some dummy PVC cards and a credit card. So you're going to do, you know, credit card cutting routine where they're going to be placing their credit card in one, and then they're going to be placing random empty PVC cards that you're going to be giving them that feel the exact same as a credit card in the envelopes. And then they're going to mix them up and you say, perfect. So now what I'm going to try and do is get a feeling of this. So this one I do not think is your credit card snip. So the same as the alive or dead one, but in the end it's going to be their credit card that is remaining and hasn't been snipped. Okay. So that one is very, very good. I can see how that would play huge in a small parlor setting. That's a routine that I'm looking forward to putting into my act when I'm going to be doing a close up parlor parlor show. And the last thing that you're also going to learn here is going to be a horoscope reveal where you get a person's horoscope sign, so star sign, and also their date of birth that again, you're going to need to print out some things that he gives you online. Uh, in the PDF to make your own cards, but it's not necessarily something that I'm going to be performing or something that fits my style. I just don't think, um, you know, it fits me. I think there's better ways of doing it, but you're also going to be getting that routine. So you are getting a lot of stuff here and a lot of very commercial routines, especially everything that you learn with the set the bar marking system is a one material. And the book test is extremely genius as well. It's a method I have not seen used uh, in a very long time, especially because of how bold it is. It's very fun to perform. Okay. So now that you know this, let's talk about difficulty. So what is the difficulty of these routines? None of these routines are difficult. Most of Simon materials is extremely easy due to the open boldness of the method. And this is not saying that, you know, it's bold, like Peter Turner's work where you have to take risks. You don't take risks. It's just the method is so incredibly out there and so easy that it just flies over people's radar. Like even the alive or dead test, when, when he performed it, I was like, how did he know? And if I, someone would be performing this to me, I would never know. But when you actually know the method, you can be like, how is this even fooling anyone? It's the dumbest, simplest thing ever in a good way, because they're very simple methods that are foolproof and easy. So difficulty wise, this is incredibly, incredibly easy. All of the routines are easy. I do think the horoscope one is possibly the hardest one of the bunch, but except for that, most of everything that you learn is incredibly easy in terms of practicality. Well, practicality, it's also a bit all over the place. If you want to do the book test, you're going to need to carry on three books and some billets. If you want to do the key routine, you're going to have to carry the locks and keys. If you want to do the star sign, you're going to need to carry your special star sign card. If you want to do the alive or dead or the alive or dead, you're going to need some envelopes with some billets. If you want to do the, you know, the credit card cutting one, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some envelopes, some three PVC cards and someone willing to give you a credit card. So, right. Practicality wise is going to differ from effect to effect, but none of them really require extensive amount, but something like the book test or the uh, credit card one with the cutting is something more that you're going to do at a gig. Whereas something like the alive or dead, test or the choose me test is things that, you know, I could easily just put cards in this and have this in a pocket and carry around with me and be able to perform it. Right. So it's much less to pack, 
but overall these are effects that I do think work better for paid gigs rather than impromptu because of the things that you carry around with you. But even then there are some of these that you can do impromptu without any issue whatsoever, okay? In terms of angles, the angles for the routines are great. In terms of reset, almost all of the routines are instantly reset. Of course, the PV, the one with the credit card is going to need new envelopes and new PVC cards after every performance. But for example, the book test is instantly instantly reset. The horoscope is instantly reset. The alive or dead, the choose me effect is instantly reset. Everything basically except for the um, for the book uh, for the <laughs> PVC cards, the cutting of the Visa card is instantly reset. Some of these do not. Uh, some of these do not require a table, but most of them will require a table for you to be able to get the full effect of the performance. So that is pretty much all I have to say about practicality. And lastly, where do you perform these effects? These effects, as I said, I think, are incredibly good for a par close-up parlor. So let's say you have a thirty-minute close-up show at someone's house. I think if you take all of these effects and you place them together in an act, you have your act. Like I'm being fully genuine. You can do the key one as the opener, you do the book test afterwards, then you do the uh, the cards with the PVC, and then you can do a star sign reveal, or you can do the star sign reveal at the start, then the keys, then the book test, and then the PVC one at the ending, and you have your 30 minute show ready to go for someone at, and is gonna fit perfectly in a small bag, and you're good. So I do think these work very well for parlor, cabaret, or stage, but they will also work for closer settings, you know, like some, some of them will work better for table hopping, whatever. I don't think all of them will, so I wouldn't do the credit card visa one table hopping, even though you can, it wouldn't necessarily be ideal, nor the book test, because you have to carry three books, whatever, but still you can do them, so they are pretty manageable in terms of where you're gonna be performing the effects. So now that you know everything about this, what are the positives and negatives of Tr uh, try harder. So let's start out as always with the negatives. What are the negatives of try harder? The only negative that I could possibly find because I need to find negatives is that if you have some of uh, Simon Lipkin's other work, so for example, if you watched his um, his unlimited Alakazam Unlimited lecture, you're going to know a lot of the content that's already here because he teaches that same content there. But you will still learn how to do, for example, the book test, the horoscope and the keys, but the marking system he explains in other projects as well. So maybe if you're really interested in the marking system only and you don't care about any of the other effects, maybe you can look at some other alternatives that are a bit cheaper, okay? But apart from that, in terms of positives, one, the routines are really well uh, explained, there's performances, it's well thought out. As always with the 1914, everything is well shot. They're relatively easy to do. The routines are varied. You can even put them together and make your own mini act with these routines. They can be performed in a lot of settings. They're uh, within everyone's grasp. They're really good practicality wise. And they're just fun routines. They're, you know, the themes of the routine with the credit card cutting is fun. The book test, he does it with music, but I'm going to do it with horror movies. It's just fun. You know, if you're someone that loves um, theater plays, you could do it with theater books. It's just very good in that regard as well. If you love animals with animal books, so you can customize it to yourself or to your com or to the company that you're doing. You know, if you're going to perform at a zoo, you could do this with books with animals, right? You can customize it. It's very fun in that regard. The routines are very fun, which is, I think to me, the most important aspect when you are doing magic is for it to be different, fun, and relatable. And I think all of these routines tick all of those boxes. So having said all of this, what am I giving try harder out of 10? I'm giving try harder a nine on 10. I think there's really good mentalism here. I think the cutting the visa cards with the marking system is the best routine out of the bunch and a routine that a lot of people are going to start doing if you do decide to purchase this. That's all I have to say about try harder. I recommend it if you're into mentalism and want to learn some ways to make, you know, your mentalism a bit more quirky as Simon Lipkin's personality. I do recommend this. So that's all I have to say. I hope that you enjoy the reviews. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.